During all cycles of the economy, there are people who are making money and losing money. The makers are the ones in front of large trends. The losers disregard trends. How do you get in front of large trends? You study what creates them. Without any hesitation, in today's society, it's the baby boom generation that creates the largest trends. The baby boomers are a group of babies born between 1946 and 1964. There were 76 million of them born in the United States, a billion of them worldwide. Why is this group so talked about? They're one-third of the U.S. population and control 65% of all the money. I've likened the magnitude of all those babies to a basketball moving through a garden hose. They reshape every industry they go through. See, if you can predict where this basketball is going down the garden hose, you possess the ability to make fortunes. I want to give you some historical examples of the obvious buying patterns of these boomers. It started with a company called Gerber back in 1940, who were barely known. But by 1955, just 10 years after the boomers were born, they had sold 1.8 billion jars of strained baby food. As the boomers took their first steps, it was Buster Brown and Kenny Shoes. When the boomers went out to play, Mattel and Hasbro got rich, providing toys to this young group. In 1957, we built more elementary schools in the U.S. in one year just to handle the overflow than we did in any 12-year period before or after. As the boomers went through their teens, Dairy Queen and McDonald's Kentucky Fried Chicken became billion-dollar companies feeding the boomers. When the boomers moved through their 20s and 30s, which was in the mid-70s, what was the industry to be in? Real estate. Why? Because the boomers had heard from their parents one time too many, as long as you're living under my roof, you'll do as I say. So they wanted their own roof, which created a 15-year real estate boom. And people are still talking today about that great time frame to be in real estate. Then what happened to the real estate market in the late 80s? It began its decline. Why? The basketball had moved through the real estate industry. Another example of this is the U.S. stock market. I heard a stock market analyst speaking on the radio the other day saying that he just couldn't believe that the stock market had had a 15-year rise. Notice the number 15 years keeps coming up. Why? Because the baby boomers were born between 1946 and 1964. And so 18 years separates the front edge from the back edge, a very important number for you. If you look for trends on the front side of the basketball, you get the full 18 years for your products to be popular. That's the reason you study the nose of the basketball. So your business, no matter what your business is, is to be looking at what industries are expanding or which industries are about to expand. I don't care how long you've been doing something or how long you've been in school to learn something. Are you in front of trends or not? Don't have a loyalty to something just because you've been educated in it. So what are the next trends? Looking at the nose of the basketball right now, it's approaching 53 years old. As a matter of fact, every eight seconds for the next some 15 years, somebody in this country turns 53. What are their concerns? What are their desires? What are their needs? Health. Looking younger, education, retirement, security, and money. Those are some of the big trends. So if you want to be brilliantly compensated, you must focus on industries and companies that have positioned themselves in front of these trends.